about burials, karma, and human meanness. If the grave has been consecrated, if it's been consecrated by the church, then the kind of burial you've described is considered a violation of the law. The other thing is that the hirch is also opposed to cremation. And if no rituals were performed during the burial of the deceased, then it is most likely that the grave is considered desecrated from a Christian point of view. Actually, my grandparents are buried in this grave. They were baptized, but my grandfather was a communist and a non-believer. It makes no difference because they are buried in consecrated ground. Half of our people are like that. They leave according to the Christian rite, thinking that it will somehow undo the results of their wrong lives, but it won't. In this case, from a Christian point of view, the grave is considered to be desecrated. And if there are many such graves, one after another, the whole cemetery is considered desecrated. These graves bear similarities to the plague pits, but there is nothing to be afraid of. The other thing is that you know about it and it bothers you, and that's something you have to deal with. Ask yourself a question, why does it bother you? Are you also afraid of divine judgment? <laughs> Maybe you don't want your ashes to be buried next to a loser, next to a selfish person. But that person is a member of your bloodline. So you have to accept things as they are. Every family has a black sheep, but that person is still part of the family, even if he or she has turned out to be wrong. Let this be a lesson to you that you should protect your own people, even if they are wrong, even if you get nothing in return. You have to be very clear about who your own people are and who the strangers are. As a colleague mentioned, our ancestors betrayed everything and everyone. They betrayed many times. First they betrayed their gods, then they betrayed their kings, then they took an oath and despised it. The people are completely covered with the seals of betrayal. And now, at the simplest level, maybe you are given the opportunity to make things better. And it's not forgiveness, it's not Christian forgiveness, it's something else. Maybe it's acceptance at the highest level. Acceptance of your own person, even if he is wrong. He is your person, regardless of whether he is right or wrong. Not because he meets your criteria, but simply because he is your person. I believe that if you try to work through this problem with this approach, your attitude will change a little. Because not everybody can be strong. Yes, your grandmother is selfish and weak. Yes, she is a loser, but she is your loser. And you should somehow accept that into your consciousness. That is the price of the issue. You have to be stronger than your prejudices and stronger than her weakness. A strong person never condemns. A strong person tries to understand the cause of the problem so that he can eliminate that cause in himself. What if the cause is within you? Gods forbid, but who knows? You are relatives after all. Try to think about it.